Well, today we have here what is this device to which we are going to be able to recover it in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial A we are not going to use the PC. We are going to use a method totally without a PC. To be able to recover our device we recommend watching the video tutorial step by step so that you cannot miss any of these details A we also have a method by PC and other different methods. Of without PC in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment. We have left all those methods A as we can see previously. We had a method by PC that we could do it directly from here. By typing A asterisk numeral zero asterisk numeral here we activated. What was the ADB debugging but A as we can see in these devices they are not. working, but we also have a method also by PC where we run a tool and be able to recover the phone without having to uncover it. Without having to uncover the phone we can recover our device. What do we have to do to be able to recover our device? Well, before starting the process, we are going to recommend that you be connected to a data network or a Wi-Fi network. Let's connect. Click here, OK. We connect to the Wi-Fi network. Now, we are going to give you the complete tour so that you can see that our device is completely locked since it has a screen lock, as well as a forgotten Gmail account. Community session. Member. Who want to, and we are always actively supporting. Asa can this can subscribe. What would be the benefit of that community of members? The benefit would be that uh, they will have the videos in advance before we publish them on YouTube they will be available in that community days in advance. With several days of anticipation uh, as we can see our phone is totally blocked here we can see that it is totally with the Google account. with the Gmail account in order to recover our device without having to use the PC we are going to click here where it says forget password and we are going to write anything no matter what we write here we are going to do it we are going to do this method here for about 30 seconds after we have passed those 30 seconds of doing this it does not matter if we get an error or if we get paralyzed it does not matter we are going to be doing this for 30 seconds. We do it quickly, after those 30 seconds have passed. We are going to return to what is home for the second time. We are going to do it, then here we quickly return to home. It does not matter if it gets blocked, we return to home. Here in the home, in home we are going to look for accessibility. We are going to go here to install you can also if it doesn't appear you can activate it. From here by pressing volume up and volume down at the same time it activates. The tab this option will appear here then when the tab is activated you are going. To double click here turn this off then you click here. On finish finish then you click here in the second option you double click. And then you are going to double click here also you double click. Now you go back, we click here, we are going to configure it again, you are going to click. Here on add, you click here. Then once we are here you are going to click here where it says add new network. You are going to give the little nut. Then you go to the last options and you click. Where it says reset here we are going to reset all these settings. We are going to reset them one by one. We are going to reset, we are going to reset all of this. After we have reset everything we are going to restart our phone. Now what we have to do is wait for our phone to restart. Completely and then finish configuring our device. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial. 
step by step so you don't miss any of these details and can solve this account deletion in a very easy and simple way, as we were saying. We also have another additional method. A method that you can find in the video description, and in the first pinned comment, you'll find methods via PC and also methods without PC. We have more than 10 methods fully available. So you can enjoy all of these methods. Now that our phone has completely restarted, what are we going to do? Let's do the following, let's use well. Let's wait first for it to start, since it restarted our phone. Let's go here again, we click on start. Here configure it, we click here on add. Now we're going to select a QR code that will appear here. We select this QR code, the one we are going to use. But for that we are going to use another additional device. We are going to use a different Samsung phone of the same model. I mean, the model can be any one, it can also be another, it can't be. It can be from another brand, it is not necessarily the same model. But what do we need on another phone? Have a Wi-Fi network, have a Google account, what we are going to do is have a Google account here it can also synchronize automatically. What we need is this Google account to move it over there. This account is synchronized with that phone. That's what we are going to do, that phone is synchronized with that account. We also need what is a screen lock. Let's uh, activate here what it is. Let's activate that screen lock here on our phone. Add it quickly add a screen lock that is easy to distinguish would be a pattern. We are going to add a pattern that would be this one, it would be the pattern that we are going to use. Quick and very easy pattern, then we have the Google account. We have the screen lock and what we are going to do now is scan this QR code. We give it here in Google, we select the little camera, to give it click here on allow. We give it all the permissions that it asks us. All those permissions that it asks us, we are going to scan. We are going to click here where it says use Google account or start Google account. Both devices are going to be synchronized. Both the Google account and the screen lock are going to be synchronized on the same phone. All are going to be copied, both information is going to be copied, we can remove the phone. Are going. Both the screen lock and the Google account. We are going to wait for that account to be synchronized, we are going to wait. We are going to wait for the account to be synchronized. Here it will show us the account that we have here it will be synchronized automatically. Here we will tell you where it says copy. We're going to click here where it says skip and as we can see here we have the account. Look, I have an alternative account here I have another alternative account. Now, that would be the account that will appear now. Now, now what we have to do is restart our phone. When we get here we are going to press the power button. Volume down button at the same time so that the changes can be saved. We will wait for those changes to be saved correctly when they are saved. Then we will move on to the next level. You saw that everything was synchronized, you followed step by step. Step by step exactly as we have explained in this video. Tutorial, you will be able to solve what this recovery of your device is. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video without fast forwarding it so that you can apply. The other thing would be that we have told you that we also have another different method both for PC and without PC where you will be able to find it in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment so that you can solve this problem already here are 
Phone is restarting, restarting, we will wait for it to restart in. Then finish this configuration. Now it would take us directly, it would take us directly. Click on add here. Ready, now we're going to wait for it to tell us that the account was added or added here it was. You can see our account was added. We click on next, we click on it, we're going to wait. We click here where it says do not copy, we click here on skip, skip. We click on skip, here it would take us to Google services, we click accept. Here we have made this video tutorial without cutting it. Without needing to be able to without cutting it, we're going to click here on skip. We click on skip again. Now it would take us to this other section. Here to wait to complete the recovery process of our device and be able to use it without so much complication. We go here to the last option, this small print. Small letters, we click on skip again. We click on skip and add, next. Next, let's wait. We are now finalizing what this video tutorial is. Once we finish what we have to do we will be left with the Google account that we have already synchronized. That account will stay here, it would be added correctly. We go here to finish, we click on finish. We wait a few seconds. We click here on continue, we click on continue. We click open and that's it, our account is now completely. Here we will show you that the account that we had on the other device will stay here too. It will also be added here, it would be synchronized. It is asking me to add a screen lock. But I am not going to add any lock because here we are going to finish this process. Let's wait, let's delete this so you can see. We delete here, we delete all this data. Now we enter again, we open here it would take us, now it would give. As you can see the account is still here, it has not been deleted.